is Dr. Juliet Chayesimira and I work with Chambogo University in Kampala, Uganda. The title of our project is on developing eco-friendly packaging materials from cassava waste and other bio-waste materials. And on this project, I'm happy to be working with a, a team from Tanzania, that is Dr. Jacob Chila from Aldi University in Tanzania. And then I'm also working with uh, Dr. Rosima Martin from IPA Rwanda. And also our private entity is Oribags Limited, which is in Kampala, Uganda. So our project is trying to provide a solution whereby we are going to produce eco-friendly biodegradable packaging materials that will always take around three to six months for them to degrade in the environment. In the region, that is the East African region, uh, the governments came up and put a ban to the use of plastic bags, of course, which was a very excellent move. And you know, countries like Rwanda and Tanzania, they have implemented the ban. Whereas the ban is good, but does not provide alternatives, what the normal person, the local users can use. So our project will come in to provide readily and affordable biodegradable packaging materials for us to be able to have alternatives which we can use. We are mainly looking at uh, packaging materials, but uh, the packaging materials that we are going to make available will include grocery bags, uh, we'll also include food packaging materials, we'll also provide um, food storage packaging materials. In cases where farmers have cereals, you know, they usually tend to uh, want to sell their produce in the first three months of harvest because usually these grains are attacked by weevils. But we'll be able to provide, produce a food, food storage packaging materials that will tend to prolong um, the shelf life of these grain materials. So a farmer will be catered for. Uh, other local consumers, if you want to go and shop, you will have readily uh, affordable packaging materials which you can go and use when you want to go and shop. The plastic material is doing a lot of harm that would. In a country maybe like Kenya, where I know they affected the ban, and maybe they are using more of the recyclable packaging material, our product is uh, a little bit better because for it it is eco-friendly. In the environment we will degrade, uh, it will take like three to six months for it to degrade, uh, which is different from uh, that product. So as such, um, we'll have a, a product that you can be able to use even when disposed of, it is able to degrade, hence protecting our environment. And of course, we know the benefits of improved uh, environmental protection. So the technology we intend to use for us to be able to come up with our products, our, we intend to use cassava bio waste and it will be the main biopolymer for our product. Of course, the cassava has a lot of advantages. We know we'll produce starch, so our first process will be extraction of starch. After extraction of starch, we'll test it uh, for a variety of properties. After testing, then we'll mold the biofilm that we we'll have. Then after the molding, we'll come to the next stage, which will be forming of pellets. And for that process, we'll need a, a twin screw extruder machine to be able to form the pellets. Once we have the pellets, we'll subject them under high temperature and pressure for us now to be able to convert the pellets now to packaging materials that we need according to different shapes and sizes. With our product at the end of it all, we'll be able, of course, to produce um, publications about what we've been doing. Uh, which will also help in the 
gap of knowledge. Also, pig farmers who are into the cassava value chain, they will be increased productivity because they will know other than food, there will be other additional products so they can be able to grow cassava on a large scale. Additionally, also job creation for people who are into production. And one main thing maybe which I'm forgetting to talk about is that we'll have to produce the commercial business plan. Anyone intending to do this will have at least a benchmark. What do you need and what does it take for you to be able to do uh, this kind of project? So investors who would want to invest in this will be able to benefit from the business case, which we will be one of our products at the end of the project.